Hi, I'm Kristen Mangus, Math Support Teacher at Running Brook Elementary School, and this is Math in Minutes. In math class, we teach a variety of concepts like fractions and multiplication. We also want students to think like a mathematician. One of the ways that we do this is to teach students to select and use tools appropriately. For many adults, the only tools that we used in school were calculators and rulers. Today, we use those tools, including a variety of other tools such as number lines, ten frames, number charts, and counters, as well as many other tools. One tool that can be used in several grades is the number line. In primary grades, we use the number line to compare whole numbers. For example, a student might want to know which number is larger, 73 or 57. They might use a number line to help them solve this. By knowing the relative position of where numbers are on a number line, they could reason where 73 and 57 belong and see that 73 is the larger number. Intermediate students could use a number line to compare fractions. For example, if we wanted to know which fraction was larger, 7 eighths or 2 fifths, we could use two number lines partitioned into eighths and fifths. Then we could find 7 eighths, and we could find 2 fifths, and then we can clearly see that 7 eighths is the larger fraction. We just took a look at how students can use one tool across multiple grade levels. Now, let's take a look at how students can use many tools within one grade level. In this problem, we're going to solve 9 plus 7 using Unifix cubes. We can build the number 9, and we can build the number 7. Students can start by counting on with the number 9, and then count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, to find out that the sum of 9 plus 7 is 16. Another tool students might use is the math rack or rack and rack. We can model 9 plus 7 by building 9 in the first row and 7 in the second row. To find the sum again, I can count on from 9 in the first row, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, to find that the sum is 16. Students can also use a number line to solve this addition problem. They can start at 9 and count up 7. to find that the sum is 16. Another tool that we use is the 10 frame. In this example, we're going to use a double 10 frame to model 9 plus 7. I'm going to start by showing 9 on the first 10 frame and 7 on the second 10 frame. And again, I can count on from 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, to find out that the sum is 16. We can also use the calculator to make sure that our work is accurate. We can type in the expression 9 plus 7 to find that the sum is 16. We want students to understand how to use tools, and we also want students to understand when to use tools. 
As students become more comfortable with a skill or concept, they may use the tool less often. See you next time on Math in Minutes.